the auto sales numbers which are out so far Sonia is joining in with the analysis. Sonia. Well, thanks a lot for that. You know, it's been a mixed bag this time around for the auto sales in the month of August. So let me take you through them one by one. Uh, we start off with Bajaj Auto, which will continue to report weakness in terms of sales in August. So if you look at the overall numbers for Bajaj Auto, total sales went down about 1.5%. But the uh, stock is up because the numbers were not as bad as what Namura's estimates were. Total sales down 15%, domestic sales down 20%, and export sales down 6% on a year-on-year -year basis. Now, we chatted with the management where they said that there's still low single-digit growth in the retail segment. They talk about how the retail growth is just 4 to 5 percent, but this compares to a double-digit decline that they have seen earlier. So in that context, there is a little bit of a recovery, and hence the stock is also up in the green. They are hopeful of retail growth picking up to 5 to 8 percent in the festive season, which is upon us. But they also speak about how the bottom end of the market is still very flat. There's no recovery there. The growth is coming in at the premium end, at the top end. And in that context, their triumph is doing very well. There's a large order backlog there as well. But let's move on to the pocket which is, um, you know, uh, slightly under pressure, which is tractors. Escort saw a total sales fall of 8.5% year on year. Domestic sales were down 2.1% and exports were down 50%. Now, the main reason ascribed to the weakness is the deficient monsoons in the month of August. The company said the deficient monsoon in August, along with the shifting of the key festive season to Q3 of this year is what impacted uh, tractor sales this month. They say if monsoons catch up in September, then the tractor demand may pay, uh, witness a good pickup. But let's talk about the best of the lot, which is M&M. M&M, the stock is at a fresh record high. The stock is up over 25% this year already. Very strong SUV sales. It's a 26% growth. And this is once again record-breaking SUV sales that the company has seen, taking their overall passenger vehicle growth to about 25% odd percent. The company, though, talks about, uh, you know, both the traction that they're seeing in the SUV segment along with a slowdown in the tractor sales. Tractor sales were down, uh, were up just about 1%. Of course, better than escorts, which saw a degrowth, but just a 1% growth is what they've seen. And they talk about a deficient monsoon as well. They say despite a 9% deficiency in the monsoon at the end of August, the Kharif sowing is largely on track. So by and large, uh, it's been a mixed bag this time for the auto sector. Back to you. Okay, all right, Sonia, thank you very much for that. Uh, well, the